Miss Jumbo trumpeted with anger when she raised a hay bale <coughs> to throw at the naughty boys. They ran away in terror. Down, down, cried the ringmaster, cracking his whip. Dumbo's mother was so... Dumbo's mother was taken away and locked in a small cage far away from Dumbo. Read these books for my niece. Nearby, a mouse called Timothy was watching. He felt sorry for the little elephant. All we've got to do is build you an act, Timothy told Dumbo. Yeah, I already read the page. What the hell am I doing? So, as soon as the ringmaster was asleep, Timothy crept into his tent. He scampered up to the ringmaster and said, Who is your climax? The little elephant with the big ears. Dumbo. Dumbo, mumbled the ringmaster. Dumbo. The next morning, the ringmaster tried out his new idea. He had all the elephants balance carefully on top of one another, and Dumbo was to be the very top elephant, the star. But when Dumbo ran to jump onto the top elephant, oh no! He tripped over his big ears and bumped into the pyramid. The elephants crashed to the ground and his, and the whole circus tent fell down around them. Bump, bump, bump. Now, the elephants were angrier than ever with Dumbo. But the ringmaster had one more idea. Dumbo could become a clown. So Dumbo was dressed like a baby and put at the very top of a burning building. The other clowns playfully pretended to be firefighters. They sprayed Dumbo with water and held a hoop for him to jump into. Poor Dumbo was terrified as he jumped. Down, down he dropped until he fell through the hoop into a big tub of sticky goo. The audience cheered and roared with laughter when Dumbo landed in the goo. But Dumbo was not happy at all. We're going over to see your mother, said Timothy, to cheer up Dumbo. Dumbo and his mother were overjoyed to see each other. Miss Jumbo put her trunk through the bars of her cage and cuddled her son, singing, yeah, you're welcome, singing a lullaby. But all too soon it was time for Dumbo to go. Sadly, he fell asleep and dreamed and dreamed. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. The little elephant was so surprised that he lost his balance. Dumbo and Timothy tumbled down into a pond far below. I wonder how we ever got up into that tree, said Timothy, shaking himself dry. Oh, you, oh, you got Clifford too? Yeah, right. I got it. Awesome. Uh, maybe you flew up, joked one of the crows. Yes, that's it, cried Timothy. Dumbo, you flew up. Mm. 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 Oh, man, there ain't nothing like coffee in the morning. Nothing like it in the morning to get shit done. The little elephant looked surprised. He couldn't really fly, could he? Timothy told Dumbo to believe in himself. Belly hurts. Why, your belly hurts? Belly hurts. Are you hungry? <coughs> You've got cereal in there you can eat. One crow gave Timothy an ordinary feather and whispered, Use the magic feather. Holding the feather in his trunk, Dumbo stood at the edge of a cliff. Before he could change his mind, the crows pushed him. And off he went. All at once, Dumbo was flapping his big ears, and he was flying. Look, you're flying, cried Timothy. That night at the circus, Dumbo stood at the top of a burning building. He didn't feel frightened. Now that he had the magic feather, he knew he could fly down safely. Timothy was tucked inside Dumbo's hat. Okay, he said, take off. 
Just as the little elephant leaped into the air, he dropped the feather and Dumbo began to fall. Open those ears, Timothy cried. You can fly. You can. Dumbo took a deep breath and began to flap his ears as fast as he could. Suddenly Dumbo was flying. He didn't need the feather after all. The ringmaster was amazed. He watched Dumbo swoop over the tub of goo and soar past the cheering crowds. Dumbo was a star. And here's the last page, everybody. Before long, Dumbo was famous all around the world, just as Timothy had said he would be. Crowds flocked to the circus to see Dumbo, the amazing flying elephant. The ringmaster released Dumbo's mother and gave her a special train car of her own.